Good evening, my YouTube fans. How's everybody doing on this lovely higgity hump day? Hopefully, everybody's doing great, chilling with the loved ones, staying safe. Most importantly, hopefully, you guys had a green day in the markets, whether it was in crypto or in the stock market. This is Cuckoo Crypto and Stock Talk with Jaime G. I'll be that Mexican and not that Mexican, guys. I'm the guy that brings the latest, the greatest in the crypto and in the stock world, guys. So, hopefully, our accounts can go up in that dinero. And that feria and that squilla for rilla. And hopefully sooner than later, guys. Guys, I'm going to be making a uh, video here on VeChain. Uh, I'm going to be reading some bullish news. That should hopefully send it, uh, obviously, shooting up to the moon, hopefully. And hopefully sooner than later for you, those of you that are holding VeChain tokens, such as myself. Uh, if that sounds good to you guys, do me a favor real quick. If you guys can destroy that like button. And hit that notification bell and turn it on to all so you can be notified when I come through with the latest and the greatest. All right, without further ado, guys, let's get it. And guys, I'm going to kind of uh, chop up through this article here because I'm not going to read the whole article because I'll probably be here 30 minutes. So I don't want to take up too much of your time. And I appreciate you guys spending uh, your uh, Wednesday with me here to watch this video. All right, let's get it. All right, guys. So it says here, the future of VeChain Thor Enterprise NFT Ecosystem. And guys... Uh, non-fungible tokens, baby. NFTs are here to stay, right? They're not a, uh, they're not, it's not a bubble. It's not a, just hype. You know what I mean? Like a lot of people are saying and think, man, it's here to stay. And cryptocurrency, in my opinion, is here to stay as well. We're moving to, obviously, a digital, uh, currency society here sooner than later, guys. Obviously, the, our government has, uh, something in the works with MIT. And for those of you that don't know, China has the digital yuan, uh, already in the works, right? Um, and there's uh, other countries such as uh, the Cayman Islands or the Bahamas, rather. They had the sand dollar, and then uh, who else? Uh, I think it was Sweden. But you get the point I'm making, guys, right? Everybody's gonna go to digital, guys, sooner than later. So you either get left, you either get with the program, or you get left behind. You know what I mean? So, anyways, all right, let's get into this article. It says cryptocurrency aside, another technology innovation has taken the world by storm. The rise of non-fungible tokens, NFTs, caught even the most uh, dedicated and enthusiastic blockchain followers by surprise. With its adoption making mainstream media headlines, such as digital artworks auctions for as much as $70 million and more, rec and more recently. NFTs being included in the Oscars 2021 gift bag. Artists, celebrities, producers, and more adopting NFTs in droves. Guys, it's going to be huge, man. It's already huge. Just wait till it really takes off. NFTs are clearly trending for art, for arts, culture, and collectibles, but they can also uh, be so much more. NFTs have the potential to positively impact and touch on every aspect of our daily lives and unlock unprecedented and sustainable value for businesses and enterprises. This is where the enterprise NFT ecosystem comes into play, and that's what uh, VeChain is looking to uh, get into, guys. Right? That's why this is super bullish for VeChain. So it's non-fungible token towards mass adoption. Essentially, the non-fungible token is a class of digital asset created on blockchain to represent ownership in the world, which is something we may struggle to all agree on. The technology makes sure that each NFT has its own uniqueness such that it is non-exchangeable with others. It is made to allow the community to reach consensus on the issuer, owner, and transfer history of an NFT, some kind of a mapped ownership by utilizing blockchain. In fact, the object of ownership can, can vary from physical asset to digital asset. It can also be intangible rights or privileges in the real world. From, the, from that perspective, entities could possibly touch on every aspect of our daily lives. In other words, guys, it's saying that this, it's, the, it's limitless on what NFTs can do. It's not just for, um, not just for digital art and, and collectibles, right, guys? It's uh, as you'll see as it breaks it down here in this uh, couple paragraphs here on what else it do, what else it can do, uh, such as on the supply chain, right? Because that's what VeChain does. But they're going to be using NFT NFTs uh, on the supply chain, right, guys? So check it out. In fact, the ownership object can vary from physical... Oh, I already read that. It says, there are two major impacts from NFTs in terms of creating new value for mass adoption. First of all, NFTs have become a class of highly tradable assets thanks to decentralized marketplaces. It means that the underlying asset or rights associated with NFTs are, to some extent, more accessible by potential buyers and more liquid due to convenience for trading. Secondly... 
The NFT technology may fundamentally change the way we design products and engage users. For instance, artists may in future opt for releasing their artworks in the electronic form of NFT since it allows them to, specific, to specify profit-sharing rules enforced by marketplaces, which ensures that they could benefit from the future trading of their artworks. Enterprises, on the other hand, right guys, so this is where uh, VeChain comes in and, and enterprises, right? The enterprises NFT, guys. Now they're going to break it down. They kind of give you a breakdown on NFTs. Now they're going to break it down on the enterprise uh, aspects of NFT. It says enterprise, enterprises, on the other hand, may design products as a bundle of physical goods and NFTs or NFT. In, in, uh, in enabled digital products to encourage more engagement from the use from their users by creating new values from them via for instance nft trading so as to boost sales bundling goods with nfts is only one potential usage of enft usage out of hundreds if not thousands of other use cases from our discussion with our enterprise partners we've explored and some already in use uh, use cases such as uh, as anti-counterfeiting and advanced traceability, others such as fashion brand are exploring the usage of ENFTs as an as an user engagement and identification tool for their social platform users. Luxury brands may have ENFTs e linked to leather goods and bags that prove as the ultimate authentication tool for anti-counterfeiting. An ENFT ecosystem would be possible to link all them together, facilitating decentralized interactions and trading in a single marketplace. So, like, you can have all this stuff in one place, guys. Uh, and it, this is just cool, man. This is super bullish for VeChain. The, the use case for ENFTs is endless, and the adoption and proposals for it is, are no longer academic, but it is happening in physical and virtual meeting rooms at this very moment. Bringing the ENFT ecosystems to life and what is needed. Okay, so it says the object linked to an NFT has to be in a sufficient value such as the value generated from the value chain is well above the cost occurred. Two, the ownership represented by an NFT has to be enforced. Three, NFT trading has to be fully facilitated. All right, guys, so it says ENFTs will lead the charge for NFT mass adoption. Uh, let's see here. It says... Uh, I don't want to take a, it says enterprise and natural ownership enforcers it could be it basically they have the liability to deliver product as they have promised to customers and are therefore fully motivated to make sure that the ownership associated with any nfts is, issued as the whole or part of a product is enforced any unfulfillment of the enforcement world in core real damage to company reputation caused the loss of customers and eventually result in less profits enterprise brings new users to the ecosystem uh, once ENFTs are issued on blockchain and become tradable on marketplaces, it would be natural for the ENFTs owners and those who pay close attention to the EFNTs to join the ecosystem. Okay, so now it's going to talk about VeChain, guys. All right, I'm almost done here, guys. I don't want to take up too much of your time. Ever since 2015, VeChain has set and been pursuing its goal of enabling enterprises to mass adoption, blockchain technologies to create real world, to create real values. We have been tirelessly working with hundreds of enterprises, no matter whether it is an SME or Fortune 500, from which we have built in a strong reputation among enterprises through numerous successes, use cases, and more importantly, develop infrastructures that support the scale up of the process for enterprise to build decentralized applications. All right, guys, so let's get a little bit, let's read a little bit more here. We change uh, the, the proof of authority consensus, which has proven to be one of the most practical solutions for building an enterprise grade public blockchain. More specifically, POA ensures the high throughput by allowing nodes to be utilized in the network. All right, guys, so you know, me obviously it gives the breakdown here um, on what, what it does. It says a unique and well designed dual token. Uh, transactions are fast, cheap, and secure on VeChain Thor. Uh, transactions are fees. Transactions are fast, cheap, and secured on VeChain Thor. Alrighty, guys. More VeChain Tool has already laid us all. Okay, here. So, building the VeChain EFNT says together and innovated to the blockchain DAB and DeFi community. It says the development and ENFT ecosystem will be divided into major parts. The first part is about onboarding enterprises to bring quality NFT assets and associate active users to the VeChain ENFT ecosystem. 
Second part will be focused on bringing necessary infrastructure into the ecosystem to facilitate NFT trading. All right, guys. Like I said, man, this is super great news for for VeChain, and uh, this is under uh, VeChain News. Just type up uh, VeChain News, guys, and this article will be there uh, for you to read. I'm not gonna keep reading here, guys, because uh, I've been I think too long, and I want to bore you. Uh, but as you can see, guys, you know it gives the breakdown and it tells you in this article, or you can look yourself. Um, Basically, you know, the ENFTs, the enterprise uh, non-fungible tokens, guys, is is something new. But it's something that VeChain is um, working on, bringing out and working on. And, guys, VeChain basically has the market cornered, right, in what they do. As far as in the supply chain, there is no other altcoin that does what they do, guys. And that's why I'm super bullish on v chain right because of what they do and they don't have a lot of competition guys so they got basically got the market cornered you know what i mean and then now with this uh enterprise nft you know what i mean that's that's gonna shoot it through the roof guys you know what i mean so if you found this video useful guys do me a favor let me know in the comments down below and hit that hit that uh subscription bell guys so you can be notified maybe give it a thumbs up and, you know, you can let me know, give me some good criticism down in the comments down below, guys. If it was boring or too long or whatever, let me know, guys. I, I, I take good criticism as well. You know what I mean? But this is Crypto and Stock Talk with Jaime G. Uh, hopefully, you guys uh, have a wonderful, blessed night. Stay safe. And till tomorrow, peace.